Now what normally happens with manufacturers within their iron range is that they produce different types of iron to suit different types of player. But is this new iron from TaylorMade designed for every type of player? That's what I want to answer in this video. It's the new TaylorMade P790. I'm really excited to give it a try and share with you exactly how it looks, how it performs and what you can expect. So let's hit some shots and find out what it's all about. Right, so we're here on the beautiful grass driving range here at West Hill Golf Club. Gonna hit some shots with the new TaylorMade P790 up against the old generation from two years ago. And the specs of this club haven't changed. The seven iron loft is still 30.5 degrees, but instantly, you know, the first thing you notice when you put these clubs down behind the ball is the, the change in the look of the club. So you're at address, the new P790 has, a, for me, a noticeably thicker top line. So that's something that potentially won't necessarily appeal to the better player. We know some better players, low handicappers, have put the P790 in the bag, but for me, it's a, it's a dr drastic change, I think, for the way this club looks. Looks pretty inviting down behind the ball. And the lighter finish is also something you're gonna notice with this new version. So especially that hitting area is much lighter. It frames the ball a little better actually than the prior generation, which has a slightly darker, more shiny finish to it. This satin chrome kind of brush finish, I actually prefer. And you'll agree, I think looking at the back, it looks much more uh, like a muscle back iron. So it's a bit cleaner, a bit more classic. Um, and just really, really appealing on the eye, pretty much from every angle, actually. It still has that, that toe screw there. That's how they get the new speed foam air inside. So, you know, it's 69% lighter than the previous generation. It has allowed TaylorMade to, to free up some weight and incorporate some heavier tungsten weighting. So it's interesting to see how that performed. I hit these irons um, at the Full Swing Golf Simulator at Silvermere Golf, Golf & Leisure. So got some launch models of data, which I'll flash up on the screen now to give you kind of a, a insight into how this club performed in a controlled environment with Titleist Pro when it's golf balls. And you'll see you know, the launch with data from the old model to the new model would suggest across the board improvements actually with this new model. So from a similar club speed, getting significantly more ball speed, a higher launch angle, slightly lower spin, a slightly higher ball flight with that seven iron and two yards extra carry distance, 172 to 174. So it's pretty long. Um, with the seven iron lofted at 30.5 degrees. That's the minimum, to be honest, I'd expect from a seven iron. But the one thing, before we start hitting shots here, I just want to convey to you is that um, I really did have this iron on the string when I tested it at uh, full swing golf. The front to back dispersion, side to side dispersion was really, really tight. You could throw a blanket over these shots, frankly. And I was you know, amazed at how uniform the performance was across the board. So uh, let's hit some shots with this new model. I'll tell you what, let's hit some shots with the old model first. So this is the, uh, the prior generation Telebay P790. It's a good looking club. You know, it looks inviting to hit. There's a, there's a hint of offset there, um, but from my prior review, I think you'll agree, this was a pretty good all rounder. It feels nice. It feels hot, not too harsh or clicky. That was slightly out of the toe, but the flight was pretty straight. You know, it's an impressive club. We transition into the new P790 for 2021. I just want to kind of demonstrate to you if you can pick up any differences or changes in the sound and feel of this club. So that's a pretty good strike with the new model. I think you'll agree this iron actually does sound and feel a little bit better. It feels a little bit more solid and one way I would describe it is that out of the middle, it just the ball kind of melts onto the club face. You get that kind of feeling where all the power is transferred from the club into the ball. And I feel like you got that from a slightly wider area as well. I know Taylor made a saying the sweet spot is a little bit larger, but I actually think that I would agree with that. I feel like this was much more consistent in terms of the performance that it delivered. It's, in, it's nice to see the extra height from a club that's lofted. Similarly, it means you know that low spin isn't reducing the stopping power you get from this club. And it just seemed to be consistent on shots across the face. So not just low or high or heel to toe, it's actually both. Um, and that's something I've noticed testing. The ball flight is very, very straight. It's not, it's not the most workable of club, but if you're looking for something that's consistent and uniform and forgiving, this P790 was very impressive. Hit one more shot for you. There you have it. I mean, I'm aiming at that yellow flag down the end there. That's about two yards left of it. That's kind of like the pattern that we've seen emerge testing this new P790 um, up against the old one. It's a very straight ball flight. So yeah, the big question you know, I wanted to ask in this video is, is this, uh, is this the iron for everyone? Can every handicap on, at your golf club from low single figures all the way up to high handicappers use this club? And I think 
in some shape or form, that is true. There'll be a lot of golfers who would quite happily transition into a full set of these um, from four iron all the way to pitching wedge. Um, for me personally, you know, having a seven iron go that far, a good 10 to 15 yards further than what I, where my current, current seven iron goes, I think is probably a step too far, but I think there's definitely a case to make for me to have some of these clubs in my long irons. I currently play the P770, but you could argue, you know, maybe as my swing gets worse, I need a little bit more help on those long iron shots, and that's where the P790 could step in. There is some significant loft gaps there um, that would need addressing, but definitely if you want a bit more help on your long iron shots, the P790 could step in, and then you might transition into P770 or maybe even the P7MC in the short irons if you are a better player. But uh, if you're a game improver, you know, is this an iron you could definitely play? And I would say 100% yes, because they've clearly built in some extra forgiveness in this club and a little bit more launch assistance. Those are the two things that I think high handicappers really struggle with. They struggle with getting the ball in the air and they struggle with off-centre forgiveness. They're not consistent with their ball striking. And this iron helps on both of those fronts. From my testing, I found the performance to be very consistent across the face and it's launching higher than the prior generation. So it's ticking those boxes that the mid to higher handicapper is looking for. So you could make a case, definitely, to say that golfers across the handicap spectrum would comfortably get on with the P790. And you factor in the, you know, the fact that these irons look really good as well. I think they're going to tick the boxes for pretty much every golfer in terms of the visuals um, and the pricing as well. It's competitive. It's a little bit more than the prior generation. It's lower than the um, P7 series we saw with the P770 and the P7MC. Um, but there's loads more technology packed in this club. So for 1149 for a seven piece set. That's pretty competitive, I would say, for uh, a club or an iron range these days. We're seeing iron sets way above that in recent times. So it's a very compelling all round option from TaylorMade. Very little weakness. I would say, see the shaft length that I've got here, you can see the P790 is actually marginally longer. So that might be contributing to a little bit more speed, a little bit more distance. But overall, I've been thoroughly impressed with what the new P790 has to offer. It's an excellent all-rounder with no, seemingly no weakness, I think, other than the extra uh, thickness in the top line, which might put off the better player, but we're talking very kind of picky um, negatives there. So hopefully this video has given you a really clear idea as to what this P790 iron from TaylorMade is all about and that it's probably going to be right for you regardless of your handicap because it really does tick all those boxes. But I'd love to hear from you. Have you tried P790 before? What do you think? And uh, if you haven't tried the P790 iron before in various generations, wherever you've been all these years, you've been missing out. Uh, but that's all for me from West Hill Golf Club. I'll see you next time.